molar mass worksheet. You're going to do the same thing that you were just doing on the worksheet prior, which was adding up the masses of those compounds, but some of these are asking you just for the mass of one element. So if it's asking you for the mass of just one element, then you're just going to look it up on the periodic table. However, it does give you a warning here that says watch out for diatomics. Let me make sure you understand what we're talking about with diatomics. If you did a periodic table with me where you're supposed to put uh, labels and colors on your periodic table, you should have all of your diatomics marked with an asterisk, which is like a little star. Um, and that shows that, hey, these atoms I need to look out for because they're special. How are they special? It says, um, don't forget that several elements, H, N, O, F, C, L, B, R, and I, are diatomic, which means that if they aren't in a compound, they will be bonded with themselves. For example, we never find oxygen as O by itself. It will either be in a compound like H2O, see there's only one O here, but it's okay because it's bonded with hydrogen, or it will be bonded with another oxygen atom if it is a pure substance. So if I just see the word oxygen, right, as a substance, it will never be O. It will either be with something else or it will be O2. So if you see any of these elements, H, N, O, F, C, L, B, R, and I, if you see any of those, in this list, hint, hint, you will, make sure that you put their mass times two because you will never find them alone. Now, if you have, for example, right here, let me move this up so you guys can see it, NO3, this doesn't mean that I have to multiply this O times two. This O is already in a compound with nitrogen. So I'm gonna take its mass times three, just like I would do with any other element. It's only if it said oxygen right here that I would have to multiply that mass times two. When you get down to the last one, magnesium oxide, you're going to have to remember your rules for making a compound from its name. Make the compound and then figure out its mass. If you do still have any questions, please come ask.